Happy November 1st. Today is not about learning Swedish, not anywhere near. In fact, today is all about inhaling Young Royals season two. <laughs> I am so freaking excited. All right, you guys, I'm about to be able to never again say that I've never seen season two. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> um, Sara just lit the palace on fire. Not the palace, the, the palace. Girl. <laughs> okay, I think Vile is about to go full on bad arse right now because there was a scene a few weeks ago and I avoided spoilers, but there was a scene where like they were in the rent room and like I think Wilhelm was like why do I have to sit there? I don't know. I read a fan fiction that had that scene and then you put that with this. I'm like, oh my god. Be like, please. Good day, Housemaster. I welcome you all back. Oh my god. Oh my god. He stood up. 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 Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out because I was like, maybe it's not this scene. But it is. They're like, made the third year start, and he's like, mm, you know what? Screw you, my <laughs> Do you know what? I think August and Sara are perfect for each other. They're both pieces of crap and selfish. I am 100% on board with the Sara bashing. I've never ever really liked Sarah after episodes, after what she did in season one. And I just, they deserve each other. In fact, I think they'd be a really cute couple. You know, August, maybe he's got his head out of his butt. Sara's got her head right down in hers. So I just think they're great for each other. Okay, so. Episode one is done, and that ending, oh, Vila. But, guys, why is that, like, so cute? I mean, like, he's distressed and depressed and all of the other s but I just think, like, the way he stood on his desk is so, like, I don't know, okay? I love Vila as a character, and I love Edvin as an actor, but, like, Vila, like, is... One of my favorite characters, right? Besides Jim. So, right, aside Jim. So, I just, like, everything he does, how could I not love this? Like, how could I not love him? Everything he does, I adore. And this is one of them. And also, go Ville, go Ville, go Ville, go Ville! When am I coming back? That's about to break! Okay, that's about to break! I don't know how my heart can take it. I don't know if my heart can take it. Right, so, Simon is trying to get over Wilhelm by going out and hanging out with Marcus. But as he does that, he wears Wilhelm's coat. That's not going to work, dude. Like, what do you think is going to happen on this rebound movie Netflix and show night that you're not going to think of him when that jacket eventually comes off if you want to do what Ayub and uh, Rosh, is that her name? Is that, they're not my favorite characters, okay? But like, what, why? Why? I hate Sara with a lot of my being, not all, because some of it is dedicated to Guillermo del Toro and how they did us fans wrong with Rise of the Titans. Um, but, like, episode two, 16 minutes left, Sada, get the heck away from August, okay? Get away. I just, I don't like her. And some people say, like, oh, she deserves, like, she's a good person. Because uh, before season two came out, I was adamant that I did not like Sada. And some people like Sada. But, like, she's just, uh, I hate her. I do, you know? Give me, get these, get August and Sara off my screen. Give me Felice and uh, Wilhelm and Seymour. I'll take Marcus, okay? Because the Marcus scene that was right before this scene, actually, so, oh my God, Lisa, what are you trying to do? Um, was pretty good. And, like, I like 
I like Marcus, you know. I feel bad for him because he's like, Simon, I like you. I want to do it right. And, like, I'm just thinking, dude, he's just using you as a rebound. And, like, I wasn't for that before he had feelings for him, but now he does. And also, it's been, like, a week, dude. What the heck? How do you have feelings for him? How fast does time go in this series? That's a really good question. You know? We all know what this is. We all know what this is. And we all know the significance it plays in the trailer. We don't know how significant. But I'm pretty sure I saw a bear on the top of August's head. Okay, so end of episode two, it is 3.32, fun number, and my back hurts from sitting in these uncomfortable, after a long time, uncomfortable uh, island chairs, so I'm going to make my mom water, be a good daughter, and then I'm going to go upstairs and watch episode three. Um, I don't, I mean, I kind of like already talked about my feelings for the episode already because there's like the ending wasn't like but like august and jean Oluf or whatever his name is uh i feel like august is gonna try and maybe earn wilhelm's like good spot back by telling him whatever the queen tells him in the meeting and also i think that vincent is such a crappy team captain like why is he the team captain august was the prefect not the I didn't think those two were related together. But I think that maybe, you know, they're all going to band together and tell, like, Vincent, like, you can be prefect, you piece of crap, but you better not be team captain because you almost killed us with 17 kilometers. I don't know what that is in f miles, but I know that five, a 5K is three miles. And so 17, oh, my God, that's a lot of miles. How would they even get to class after that? Joviente, but... That's my opinions, okay. Uh, Vincent sucks, Sarah sucks, I like August more than Sara, and thank you, I do. Okay, look, look what that is. Do you remember the promotional pictures? I remember the promotional pictures. Hmm, hmm, they have those same outfits on. Okay, so, episode three, it's very dangerously on this thing. Uh, 41 minutes to go. It doesn't, it doesn't tell me how long. That's, this is the progress bar in case you were curious. But like, Simon is now like, it doesn't feel great tonight, we cheated. Well, you idiot, you didn't have to follow him. You were like, kind of hesitant, but as soon as you're like, come on. And you're like, okay, but I'm gonna follow you wherever you go. Like seriously, you did not have to go and cheat, okay? Like, come on. Uh. And we all know Simon and him will not let you get kicked out. Okay, am I crazy or is that literally Vietnam's jacket? He's wearing it. Is he is that not his coat? So so why is it not mentioned? Because I swear on my soul that is Vietnam's coat. Just a thought. What if Vietnam comes out at the Jubilee? Because he has to make a speech. Simon's gonna sing a song. Something like, I was hurt, but now I know myself better than before. Something like that. And, like, August is going to be there. So is the queen. So maybe you'd be like, I'm gay. And then flip her off. I'm just saying. In case you're curious, it's rowing competition time. I know nothing about rowing. But, um, I don't know who's going to win. Honestly, Felice is just looking fantastic this season. Um, I'm loving her hair. Love that she's doing what she wants to do, but I don't know who's going to win because I don't really know anything about rowing, and I also don't know what direction the story is going to take. If they win, how will that go? If they lose, I think Vince is going to blow his head off, and I don't think it's going to be very good, so I don't really know what direction it's going to go. Marcus, you better keep those lips to yourself and, like, look at Willem's hurt. Look at Willem's hurt. Look at it. Look at how hurt he looks. Oh my gosh. Ah! Look at him. Take it in, Simon. Okay. So now we've got Lonely Ones with a slideshow. And I'm just remembering all of these theories that the fans had about, like, Vietnam getting addicted to, like, alcohol and drugs and growing a dependency on them or having dark thoughts 
And I'm like, I'm scared for where he's going to be because I'm just scared and this is so sad. Oh. Wait. Okay, I just turned the camera on in case, hold on, I might have a little bit of light here. Something, just in case something was about to go down so I can get my reaction. But then I remembered in the trailer, they have a plan B. They have a plan B. Oh my God. Also, why does the queen look so good this season? I'm asking you because like everybody was like, oh my God, the queen had a glow up. And yeah, she did. Backup would be you. Okay, so the queen literally, literally, like, what you've done has made it so impossible. No, wait, I'm sorry. She's like, what you've done is unforgivable. Would you like to be the backup plan? AKA, be rich, so to speak? AKA, AKA, AKA. Become crown of Sweden? Oh! You know, I read one fanfic. One fanfic, and I couldn't even get through all of it, okay? Where, after season one, Simon... No, wait, no. But Wilhelm and Felice got together. I couldn't get through it. And soon as he put her his hand on her knee, I said, Villa, you better back away. Back away. I kid you not. What the hell is this? You were supposed to be supportive besties. Not this. Not this. Get away. Get away. Supportive besties. Supportive besties. Not this. No! No! Okay, no, I'm actually serious. Did I click on the wrong freaking show? Because what is this? What is this? I'm not even kidding you. What the hell is going on? Did I, did I click on the wrong show? Did I click on the wrong show? Please, what is this? What is this? What is this? Hi, Mom. Be out a second. How did I feel about episode three? You know, I'm not that happy with it. They were supposed to be besties. So I don't know what the world Lisa thinks they have them doing. Okay, be out a second. I don't know what Lisa thinks she's got them doing. But I don't want a love triangle times two. I just want a couple. Okay. Okay. I don't know what you think she's doing, but she better back away. I don't know what that is. That's... No. No. Okay. <laughs> it's on the table time, and I'm excited. Why? Just because I want to see what Ville does. He doesn't... He didn't like it in season one. He doesn't... I don't think he's going to like it this time. Ville on the table. On the table. Just stop! Ooh. What is this insane fucking tradition? I can't be the only one who thinks that. You're saying that's slander. Simon, you can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Simon, you are being a hypocrite. I kid you not, Simon. You're being a hypocrite. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. First of all, Simon is a hypocrite. I'm sorry. He is. Second of all, this stupid piece of crap is like, I have to get good grades. I feel bad about cheating. And then straight up ditches school. I'm sorry, what world does that make sense? And this whole back and forth thing is getting really ridiculous, okay? Really ridiculous. I don't even understand what the whole Felice thing was. It makes me so, so mad. And this is making me mad because he's obviously just using Marcus. Okay, okay, listen, listen. I don't really know what to say. I don't. But I'm really getting vibes from Nils Hill here because of what was in episode one with Marcus. 
oh, what do you say about Madison? Which is weird because that's my name. Um, and like he just like keeps going towards Ville. I would have preferred. I would have preferred. I would have preferred Ville and Niels to Ville and Felice. Um. I kid you not, I was just vibing to the music. I was like, do, 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 do. And then this came up and I was like, Ville? Why are you crying? But there are so many ways why he's crying. It could be like, he's crying because meta. it's like him putting this white makeup on his face is a metaphor for having to hide him true self as crown prince. Or it could be as basic as, oh, Ville, oh, no, Sima, <laughs> You know, because that seems to be what season two is all about. Basis basicity. Mm -hmm. Basicness. Whoa, dude. Dude, August, August. You better be careful if you're going to steal my heart, too. <laughs> but, like, he's, like, actually kind of sweet to Sada. And she doesn't deserve it, okay? I'm sorry. She doesn't. Also, I swear on my soul, she's about to tell him, like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm going with the girls, and then he's going to be like, no, gulp, gulp, gulp down those drugs. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. <sighs> There's still 20 minutes left in this episode, and it's like, I don't want, like, I like this, sh I, I love Young Royal season one. And I was like, six episodes, how could that possibly be long enough? I'm not a fan of episode four, okay, guys? It's just not very good. Even the lovely back to friends Wilhelm and Felice are. It's just, I'm not, I'm not happy. Watch, 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 watch. They don't have names. <laughs> I can't bring everything I said. He's just like, if he doesn't get what he wants, he becomes vengeful. I take, I take back what I said about August, okay? I like how everyone was like, they're not gonna know who you are. It's a masquerade party. This is the worst masquerade party I've ever seen. Okay, seven minutes left of the episode. Simon has separated from Marcus. He's gone outside where Wilhelm was just sitting after August told Alexander that Wilhelm was the one who said that they should put him in for the drugs. So, we got some tense music, people are separated, I am kind of scared about Wilhelm, but I'm also like, what is going to happen? This show so far has not been very good, but it's episode four, seven minutes left, we're waiting for a cliffhanger, I'm wondering what it's going to be. I'm tired of hearing the same verse of this song over and over again. I'm t exhausted of it. I don't even think it's that good of a song. Okay. Episode 4 is done. Let me give you my opinions. First of all, how long was episode 4, I ask? Episode 4 was 47 minutes. By far, so far, the longest one. It felt like half of my life, okay? That 47 minutes just felt so incredibly long. And honestly, I should probably get some better lighting because I'm going to sit here, I guess. But honestly, I... That... My least favorite episode by far, okay? It was just so back and forth with what it wanted you, like, what it wanted you to feel. And it wasn't, like, a back and forth good way. It was like, well, do you want Wilhelm and Felice together? You want that? Okay, we're not going to do that. Actually, Felice is kind of going to be a little bit mad, but then she's going to come right back around, and they're going to be besties again. But then they're not going to really see them hanging out for the rest of the episode. Then you're going to go over to uh, August and Sarah, who look cute, are acting cute, but they're not going to be cute this episode, because August is kind of like, I don't know what August is doing, I hate, and you don't, you're not supposed to, like, Sarah, or maybe you're supposed to like Sarah. Feel bad for her. I don't know. But then we're gonna go over to Marcus and Simon, which is making me the absolute maddest because it's this is making Simon a bad character. And I know with so many people in season one, they actually really ended up liking Simon's character. And I thought he was just like an okay character. But in this 
series, and in this episode particularly, they are making him such a horrible, horrible character. First of all, like he's telling, like he's trying to get over Wilhelm by going right into a new relationship with Marcus and he's like well what you want to go to the bar oh you don't want to go to the ball well what if you went to the ball and then like and then they go to the ball and he doesn't she he doesn't spend any time with Marcus really or he spends the entire night with Marcus but not mentally physically he's there mentally he's with Wilhelm and then Wilhelm poof disappears no he did not get punched in the face by Alexander, I'm sorry. I swear though, if Alexander was filming them kissing and then that comes out, I'm I'm going to be so upset. But then, but then, Simon comes down and just starts making out with Wilhelm and like, dude, you're like in a weird relationship with Marcus. It's making both Simon and Wilhelm look bad because v Wilhelm thinks Simon is in a relationship with Marcus. He called her his boy. He called him his boyfriend, but then didn't d didn't even ask about what was going on when she straight up kissed him. And Simon is just like. I'm gonna make out with Wilhelm because why the heck not? Who cares about anything? <sighs> two more, you guys. Two more episodes. That's my opinion on this episode. I didn't really have any opinions on episode two. I have a heck of a lot for episode four. So it balances it out. But I... I'm just so upset, you guys. I really am with episode four. And I wasn't... I, I'm not... <sighs> I just <sighs> this 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 upsets me because he's not even talking to Wilhelm and it's he's just like stringing Wilhelm along. It's like who can I get? If I can get Wilhelm to do what I want and to come out to the country, then perhaps I'll have Wilhelm or I'll have Marcus. But also it's like <sighs> he it's <sighs> Ruining Simon's character. Am I can't? Am I the only one who thinks that this is like completely demolishing Simon's character? Maybe not completely, but I definitely think it's turning Simon in a negative way, not a good way. <laughs> what? Oh my God! I get that you're upset, Simon. But it's so, like, dude, why, like, I, I feel so bad for Vietnam in this, in this scenario, not only because I love him, but, like, in the first season, people were like, well, Vile is, like, constantly back and forth with Simon. Well, that's what Simon is here right now to Vietnam, and... It, <sighs> It just, it kind of feels like it's worse for Wilhelm because of what they went through in season one. So he's like, he's like, I don't trust you, Wilhelm. And Wilhelm's like, oh, I'll, make, I'll make it to where you can see that I, like, you can trust me. And then he makes out with him. And then Wilhelm is all excited. But now he's like, Aah. And it feels like it's kind of worse after it because of how much, like how close they got in season one. And now it's just kind of, it's just... From this, from I could be free with you. Did he say he would give up the crown for you? Yes. Yes, he did. I, yes, yes, he did. Why it's not, I'm not getting any light on me. But I just thought you all should know that us theory saying he would abdicate for Simon. We were correct. That was the only thing we were correct about, except for that one fanfic writer who somehow she knew. Somehow. Wait. Okay. Did August? Did August just use his inheritance to buy Sara the horse? Okay. So, okay, it literally looks like it's, like, midnight because of how dark it is in my room, but it's literally 6.13. So, this whole book, Kristen Boyle, whatever her book is, autobiographical, autobiogra whatever it is, it is very heavily Wilhelm and Simon just reincarnated earlier, um, or 
her story is reincarnated into Simon de Wilhelm. Whatever it is, it's very similar. And they're like, well, we don't know what happened when it ended. And Sarah goes, she committed suicide, the author. And I was like, well, <laughs> maybe a theorist might end up correct. Love doesn't save a depression. So here I was admiring his hair. I heard and sa I read that. And then he does it. And it looks disgusting. <laughs> but also it's like the theories. Are the theories coming correct? And look how sad he looks. Oh, I love him. Screw you, Simon. Episode 5 is done. At least Omar got to film a scene he wanted to film. You know, he wanted... It just... That... The ending, it literally feels like it came out of nowhere. It feels like it came out of nowhere, guys. And I don't know why I'm so upset. Because it's always... It's so common that the second season of a show is not as good or even better than the first season of a show. But I am just... I'm just so disappointed. It's just... It came out of nowhere. I just... I don't... It just came out of nowhere. This episode was all over the place. <laughs> Didn't they fight at the beginning of this or was it episode 4? It's all blurry. No, they fought like 10 minutes into this and then 30 minutes later. It's... It... Why? Alrighty. Here we go to episode 6. I'm pretty sure Wilhelm's coming out to the public. That's what I'm pretty sure is happening. Fucking victim among all the brats. You say you don't want any drama, but apparently that's what turns you on. Do you know what your is problem is? Is he wrong? Is, is he is wrong? That you go around? August! Have you seen August? I think he went shooting or something. Oh! <laughs> We've all seen the scene from the trailer. Please let this be the scene from the trailer. I want August to have a gun. Holy moly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm do it. ready to do what it takes. I skipped 10 seconds ahead instead of pause. Maybe that's but look. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> 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 the royals are fucking masters at covering up accidents, right, August? Get down on your knees. Oh my god. <laughs> on your knees. Put the gun down. Get on your knees. <laughs> yes! Look at him. Oh, look at him go. Just look at him. Go! Uh! Who was it? Who was it? Oh my god, he's literally going insane. Who he's was going it? insane. Tell me who the fuck it was. It was me. Because I wasn't there with him. <laughs> oh my god, is he gonna. What if he shoots himself? It's time for the best hug. I'm ready. This hug is beautiful. Hey. He was just about to kill a man for you, so. What is your problem? <laughs> okay, I get that his problem could be the fact that Vile literally just lost it, but it could have ended worse. August could be dead, which wouldn't be bad for you and me, but for the characters, perhaps. Also, I got a different pillow. <laughs> I've migrated, okay? Okay, so Sada is blaming her idiocracy on being in love with August. But here's the thing. She was totally ready to betray Simon before she'd even kissed August. All, it ha all August had to do was say, well, you know, if you do this favor for me, 
I can do a favor for you. And now she's like, you continue to stand for losers. It's like everything I did wrong felt right when it was with him. This love made me crazy. And like you, you, you weren't in love when you first did it. Like, did she go there? Like, she went there and told him and then just stayed there and then got something out of it. She wasn't in love. She was, she was using, she was blackmailing him and it worked. Okay, so Simon just told Ville that he wants to be with him, no matter what. So, um, abdication speech? I think so. Also, I'm going to switch to my phone to record the last nine minutes so I can get my official reactions like on because I only have three minutes of space left on this camera. So, so I have to quality changes to be really bad i might have to turn on the overhead light or something to get more light we'll see but yes i love you <gasps> oh my god and then his oh i love you and he looks so taken back placed by uh I mean, uh, let's cordially welcome His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Abdicate! 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 Five minutes! Be proud of your history. He's coming out. He's coming out. He's coming out. Pass on the traditions to the next no. generation. He's coming out. No. <gasps> no? But that ends now. I'm gay. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, the therapist looks so proud! Everyone's filming in case it gets cut. Do it, do it. Do it. Go. It was me in that video that leaked last term. <clears throat> no. So here I am again in this seat, just a few months past the year, to talk about something I was super excited for. I don't have a script for what I'm about to say because I honestly don't really know what I'm about to say. I had 52 minutes worth of footage from this six hour, seven hour journey um, and I really went through a lot of emotions. I definitely would have to say that episode one is probably my favorite. Episode 6 might not be that bad, but episode 1 was definitely my favorite, and I'm sad. it hurts to say that I just, I really think it went down here, hill from there. I don't really know what, to, I don't really know how to say it, and I feel like as time progresses, I'll be able to gather my thoughts more coherently and be able to talk about the disappointment I feel towards Young Royal Season 2. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't nearly as disappointing as Rise of the Titans was. Though, then again, I did not hate that movie until several hours after I had watched it and I had interacted with the community and with the people who commented on my video. Because the more I talk about it, the more my feelings cement. So... What do I, what did I like about the season? Well, I really liked Wilhelm. I liked how he decided to enact revenge around uh, August. And I obviously really loved the scene in episode six that involves a trap shoot. <laughs> Some clay pigeons. Um, so that was really fun. I would have to say that that is probably my favorite scene out of the entire six hours worth of television I watched today. That will definitely have to qualify as my favorite scene. Um, uh, what else? Well, you know, I liked Felice and Wilhelm as besties because... The end of episode three is this purge from my mind. It doesn't exist, okay? What happened in episode three did not happen. It does not exist. I refuse to acknowledge it. 
So it didn't happen. Um, and what else? You know, I liked Marcus. I'll give the show that. He was a very fine character. But I think fine really is the most you can say for him because we didn't really get to know him enough for him not to be a Martin Stew, but he is a Martin Stew or a Martin Sue, the male version of Mary Sue. That's really what he is. He was just kind of created as a plot device, not really a character but he's more of a plot device, I would have to say. I really don't like the way Simone treated him in the show, but we they, they, did, they did interact a lot. And, I mean, I my main, the main thing I already said about him is that he wasn't a character, he was a plot device. And I really am sad that that happened. Because one of the best things about season one was the fact that it was different. It was not like every other cheesy romance teenage show. It actually felt like something different. It was unique and it was well written. The characters were unbelievably developed and they they felt like real people and they it was really it was just really well written in season one. And I don't think season two was very well written at all honesty honestly I feel like there was just so much that Lisa and I think she had one other person I'm not quite sure I don't really know who the writer is but I think this is Lisa's show so the writers I just feel like they had so many ideas of what they wanted to do but they couldn't really pick which ones they wanted in general. I think episode four really dragged on and something the show does struggle with I feel like is pacing. It's not like it feels rushed but it's a lot happened in the episodes. Season one you know a lot happened during that but it didn't feel rushed and then in this episode I kind of felt in this season I felt like the pacing was kind of here and there. Really quick, really slow, what's going on, why are they kissing, stop doing that, get away from each other, why the heck is this here, please help me, I'm losing my mind, yes Ville, use the gun, like yes August, beg, beg, you know, like I feel like it was kind of all over the place. And I really do feel like Simon's character arc in this story was negative and I understand that he was struggling with the events of episode 6 of season 1. I understand that he was struggling but that doesn't really excuse how horribly he treated Martin. I mean Marcus, you know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't exclude that. So yeah, I don't know. I will obviously watch season three. I just, I feel like this season could have been better. I know, I know it could have been better. I don't, exa I'm not much of like, this isn't my genre of show to write. I could tell you a whole way to replot out Rise of the Titans, but we're not here for that. But I think that this could have been done a lot better. I think that it was really heavy on the romance drama. And I don't think it should have been. It should have been more focused on Simon and Wilhelm's relationship and kind of what comes next in this type of situation. I think it should have been really more focused on Wilhelm's relationship with his parents and not just his not just the queen. His father should have actually played a point because we've never seen how his father feels towards Wilhelm about Simon and about the video. And I really think that that should have been a main focus. I think that we should have had a little bit more inside Wilhelm's head because I feel like after episode one and that small scene in episode five where he threw up, we really didn't get to see a lot of him. I really liked when he picked up the anxiety pamphlet and it showed that he was trying to care for himself. But I think that while some people said that it was really well portrayed in this season, I don't think it was portrayed enough. And I just, I don't feel like every time we saw Vietnam, he was really, like, struggling. I don't know how to explain this. But I just, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't... Obviously, don't like Sada. If you like Sada, this is not the channel for you. Um, and I, I actually really like August. Not like as a person, though there was a phase in this <laughs> season where I was like, oh, August, you're great. Um, not great, but like, I, I liked him. 
but I don't I don't like him like that. I just like him as a character arc. I feel like he was, I feel like his character arc was kind of all over the place too. He Though he did buy Sara a horse. I was right about that. Everyone could see that coming. Um, but I also feel like he might have been a little bit all, all over the place, but he really had the biggest arc. Did he have an arc? Did any of his characters really have an arc? Wilhelm came out at the end, so maybe that's an arc. I don't really know. I feel like what really suffered was the relationships this season when really that should have been the main point. We added too many new dynamics. There was a whole bunch of characters who in the first season you didn't really care about. Fanfic car writers cared about them. I'm talking about Stella. I'm talking fe about Federica. Nils. Vincent. Whose name's not Vincent. I don't know. Uh, Alexander. There was a whole bunch of these characters that in season one you weren't super attached to and then all of a sudden in season two you're supposed to absolutely adore them. You're supposed to ship them together. You're supposed to be like, no, Stella, tell, tell her. Like that, like, it just, I felt like they tried to do too much. And if they had really honed in on the main relationships, I think it would have been a lot better. I have a pair of socks on. <laughs> I feel like it would have been a lot better. But these are just my opinions, obviously. I would have liked to see Wilhelm struggle a little bit more. I don't really feel like he struggled all that much. Like I said, I feel like that could have been another aspect of the show and the character that we kind of experienced a little bit more of. We did get a flashback with Eric, which was fun. It was only one. But I don't know. I feel like the show focused on the wrong thing. There shouldn't have been romance. There shouldn't have been relationship drama. I don't think that Marcus, as much as he was a nice character, a lovely little basic cutout block, I don't think that he was needed. I think he shouldn't have been added. And I really think that the relationship with Simon and Wilhelm, Wilhelm with his parents, Sarah with Simon, you know, feeling guilty, like their relationship kind of being rocky. I think that would have been more, more beneficial to show than what we got. But that's just my personal opinion. I probably have more to say, <laughs> but yeah, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you disappointed? Or did it beat your expectations? If you liked it, what did you like? And if you liked it, do you have anything you didn't like? If you didn't like it, tell me why. And like, honestly, let's just talk about this in the comment section. I'm sorry this video is so long. I hope people watch it to the end because I really, really do want to talk to you guys about season two. So yeah, I'm sorry that uh, I was disappointed. I hope you guys weren't, but let's cross our fingers for a season three, and let's hope they announce it quicker than they did for season two. Anyway, I'm going to go. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Uh, hey, Dua. Oh, and don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer.